Factorio is so easy game. You just have to mine some ore and chop few trees, then send rockets to space. <laughs> no big deal. And you probably wanna ask, Mr. Durban, but what can be hard in those three so simple steps? And the answer is doing it fast. There is so many talented people who speed on Factorio, and I decided to be one of them. However, it was more painful than all my Factorio pains together. Of course, big thanks to Nefrums who made a speed dying guide. If not for this guide, I would probably just cry in my pillow fortress. This is a map and let's go. I started my run by collecting some iron from the ship. Then I built miner, four nades and chopped some trees. Next task was to get some stone. Yeah, rocks. Uh, rock, 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 rock. I've changed my color to blue and built some more furnaces and miners to increase production, of course. Top, top, top. We need tons of stone in the beginning. Rock, 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 rock. Top, 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 top. I've already said science because why not? Next task was to get stone in a normal way because my sanity was already going away with those rocks. Rock, rock. In the beginning, you are the only factory in your factory, so you have to keep eye on the miners and furnaces. To make watching easier for you, I run a comment that will turn on perma day. It's just the visual thing for you guys. Mwah. There is even more me running around like a factoryless engineer filling furnaces with coal to produce more pollution and to make some iron. We are starting new age by building electricity for our factory to produce science and increase our knowledge with those simple bottles, data, upgrades, playing ships. Yeah, um, come back to the furnaces and coal. There is a simple gear production and we can start to mine some iron. I mean coal, iron will be later, don't worry guys. And now it's time to set the first nice looking thing rock in our factory. Also smelting column for iron. It is important to measure all constructions correctly. Otherwise, I will need to rebuild everything and lost even more points from my poor sanity. Rock. Rock. Finally, it's time to make a proper iron production that doesn't require constant refueling with coal. This is the first big step into real automatization, which is the main goal of Factorio. I mean, main goal next to showing a local wildlife how bullets and nukes work. I hear they like it. Maybe somebody told you those lies that size doesn't matter, but she was wrong. Factory has to be huge, otherwise bikers will laugh at you, and nobody wants that. With enough amount of poles, we can come back to our smelter and build even more power production with those direct miners. It slowly starts to look like a real factory, so we're gonna rebuild that old assemblers and place a new one in a better spot with iron plates input. After that, I realized that I'm not the smartest guy here and I have to add science bottles assemblers to actually make science. Let's build even more iron and then start with green circuits or green circuits according to your awesome feedback. Thank you for that. We already have demand for copper plates, so we need to build a copper smelter. It of course looks the same as iron smelter on the left. Half belts with ore and coal at the outside and output belt in the middle of the column. I also made small buffer for green circuits to make handcrafting faster. Next task was to set up miners for copper production because without ore we cannot make plates and they are main ingredient in Factorio. I already told you that I don't have much between the ears so I have to rebuild this. Yeah, price for stupidity is more work and points from sanity. I think it's kind of funny to look at this placement of inserters. For me, it is the sound of the cleanest relax. Because what can be better than a factory being built at this speed? Finally, we'll build a small mall that can provide us the most important stuff to expand our factory. Belts and inserters will be also used in science manufacture. But before we build this manufacture, we need to make our power plant even bigger. After this upgrade, we'll have 10 boilers and 20 engines providing us with the power. We also need to build more coal miners that will provide coal to our another iron smelter. I ran out of resources and decided to finally build a science manufacture to produce red and green science. Wait a moment. We are already 40 minutes into the speedrun and only making those science? Let's see how current world record holder frankly performs at the same time. Wait, did he just place a robot? Uh, we are performing awesome and our coal powered factory doing great. So it's time to improve everything with science. I start by placing tons of labs to make research as fast as possible. And I also put tons of inserters to provide labs with science packs. Behold, gentlemen, science. Then I had to set up tasks for our labs. 
only to realize that I messed up Fournay's placement by one tile. And now I have to rebuild this. Why? 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 So after this quick and easy fix, I gonna actually build it good, learning from my mistakes. Iron, power, iron, belt, 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 belt. And now it's time to build this iron smelter very good. I will place furnaces in the right distance. We also need huge amount of inserters, but placing them is a pure pleasure. Here I placing a belt and assemblers only to realize there is something wrong in my factory. Again! However, I need to keep a positive aptitude, so I fixed this and came back to my assemblers. There will be a nice gears production that will utilize our new iron. We will make a proper green circuits buffer and build a normal mall. I realized that this mall was also built wrong, but it's not a problem, because I can always rebuild this, right? So I need to set recipes, inserters for input and output, put some chests and make limits. Then I can build a logistic mall. That is also wrong, but this is not a problem, because I am an oasis of peace right now. And this is our new logistic mall. Let's set a research. Now it's time to build another smelter, but this will be a steel smelter. And because I know how bad I am, I will measure those three tiles between furnaces correctly this time. <laughs> this time I outsmarted the game. So let's place some belts, connect the coal, place the inserter and put miners or even more miners. Now I gonna connect them with a belt and then I will make a nice split in the middle of the column to make an even distribution of ore. This is wrong. I don't know who I am anymore. Dawaj po nowej, Misha. So who I'm sorry for my temporary unavailability. There should be ovens for steel with enormous amount of inserters and just normal belt, plus power. I run out of power poles, but new me will be happy to chop some wood. Just look how nice it looks and sounds. With new wood resources, we can easily complete our steel smelter. It's basically just placing few inserters from now. I will drag this belt to our mall for better assembled crafter and finishing touches with a buffer for steel. Steel is done. If you thought that we have already enough smelters, you are wrong, my dude. This will be a mini smelter for stone bricks. And like every smelter, it also needs a supply of ore. I will of course provide stone with this spaghetti belt. And smelted stone will be helpful later. So I have to make a small buffer for stone ore and stone bricks. I gonna already use those bricks in a crafter for better furnaces. Quick stop for science. Next big goal is to make even more power. Yes, we need a lot of power for this factory. So I need to place additional coal miners that will just mine coal. Then I will place a pump and everything else. I think you already know the drill. If you want to make good power plants in Factorio, you have to keep correct ratios. This power plant will need one pump, 20 boilers, 40 steam engines and 18 electric miners. Okay, quick. How many engineers do you need to change a light bulb? Ah, wait, we are already done with the power. I will finish the joke later. Like you can see, this smelter is way smaller because we are using steel furnaces instead of previous slow stone version. They are so easy and quick to build that I will make another one next to the first one. We of course need to provide iron ore for the first smelter. Yes, we need a lot of iron in this game. However, iron is not the only necessary resource in this game. This is why second smelter will make copper plates. Those materials will be used to craft green circuits that will be used later for red circuits. This is a nice looking manufacturer, but it's wrong by one tile. It is good that I don't know how to count, because otherwise I would be angry if I counted all my mistakes. Okay, we have green circuits and wires for red circuits, but we also need plastic. We start building our raffinery first by providing water, then we need to make some space, place raffineries and connect all the pipes together. There is a lot of pipes to connect, but we also need to fill them with some liquid. So let's go to the nearest oil patch, look if there is no enemies and come back to our base with liquid. Those two raffineries at the very bottom will refine oil into three different resources that need to be stored for later use. I'm gonna use water and petrol to make plastic and sulfur. Those resources will be necessary to craft red circuit and blue science later. We also need to take this coal because it required material for plastic recipe. Sulfur will be used to produce sulfuric acid that will be used in batteries later. Since red circuits have a very slow crafting time, we need to build a lot of assemblers to compensate this drawback. I will make a small crafter for productivity modules because they are awesome. Finally, 
it's time to make a next year of research battles. No way. <laughs> Silly me. There should be space for two belts. I mean, it's, it's not enough. We need to place inserters for those assemblers and also craft pipes and gears to make engines. We are advancing next research tier with those blue like a disappointment science packs. Now we just need to connect belts and progress is real. Oh, I forgot to connect red circuits and sulfur. So I gonna do it right now. And I will also prepare belts for iron and stone for later use. Here I'm using sulfuric acid to craft batteries for our future robots. Quick science. And now we can craft and connect lubricant that will be used in robots... Ah yeah, 6 in the morning, just factorial things. Those assemblers will be used to craft engines and electric engines that will be turned into robot frames. We are on the way to research those electric engines, so we can easily prepare space for robot frames in the meantime, because I don't want to waste time. I set a recipe for engines, lubricant and advanced oil cracking. It also needed few small fixes. Next, I made crafter for poles, put productivity modules in labs and set research. Now we are advancing next level by making construction bots. I can use those bots to copy our power plant and paste it like a lines of code from Stack Overflow. I will also take a blueprint of our steel production, because we'll need way more steel to finish the game. Now we can distribute raw ports in our factory and make some cleanup. Oh, some gremlins moved our belt by one tie and you we wasn't making any bots, but it's okay. Now I can make special access chests for bots and use our blueprints for steel, iron and copper. I will give bots some basic items to speed up the progress. Now. Thanks to bots and blueprints, I can place all necessary miners in a few seconds. Unfortunately, connecting all belts will take a bit more time, but it has to be done. I forgot to make miners for our power plant, so I have to do it now. We can come back to our smelters and connect all belts in a proper way. Yeah, there is a lot of belts to connect. Now, let's build a green circuit manufacturer. But you are probably a factory veteran by now, so I will do it quickly, very quickly. Final touches with belts connection and we are done. We need a second oil refinery which will provide us with petrol for new plastic production. Another ingredient for plastic is coal, but luckily we already have belt for it. This small build will produce one and a half belt worth of plastic that will be consumed mainly for red circuits. And like I told you before, now we're gonna build a red circuit manufacturer. I mean bots gonna build it. We just need to make a blueprint and connect all necessary belts. I realized that we don't have enough copper for copper wires, so it's time to fix this with more smelters. Now we can finally make copper wires that will be consumed for red circuits. Yeah, a little bit more spaghetti with plastic and green circuits connection. Everything needs to go to a correct place to make it work. It is time to make speed modules, which will be used in rocket parts. But before that, we of course need to connect all the belts together. This is factorial guys, what did you expect it? Next task is to build a blue circuits production. We need them to make yellow science and rocket parts. Blue circuits are made out of green and red circuits. However, they also need to be connected to sulfuric acid that we've made earlier. Last connections and we can start building blueprint for purple science. Of course, I messed something up. Okay, one more situation like this and I'm rage quitting the speedrun, I promise you. But now, this science is very straightforward. For every battle crafter, we need only half crafter of rails and furnaces. However, rails also need iron sticks, but they are very easy to provide. Other ingredients are steel and of course red circuits. Now, we just need to connect science belt to labs and place inserters. I forgot to connect productivity modules, but it's not big deal because I can easily do it right now. I also have to change this recipe. It is time for the first rocket part, low density structure. It needs a lot of steel, half belt of plastic and two full belts of copper plates. Freshly crafted LDS will travel on this belt near blue circuits. Now we can very fast build yellow science production with the help of our bots. Let's make output, put robot frame inside and connect one more belt. Rocket fuel is a second necessary part of the rocket, but you can see how easy it is to build. We need to connect the output to a place where we're gonna build a rocket silo. And it's a good idea to start buffering this fuel. Half production wasn't working because of this single belt? Okay, I, I give up. I'm calling Geneva. It should be forbidden to speed on this game. What the... Okay, I can finish this game. 
Uh, we need to make big crafter for rocket control units. As the name suggests, they will be used to control the rocket. Build looks like every other build, so we already know how. Of course, we need to connect belts, speed modules and blue circuits. I forgot to connect one pipe, but it is fixable. Now I can set recipe for control units and make output. Fix bottlenecks with purple science and cook some more spaghetti. To save as much resources as possible, I have to make productivity modules tier 3. They will reduce cost of the rocket by many percent. To craft rocket silo itself, we need to first make concrete. So I'll make this small concrete manufacture here. We'll use speed beacons to run away faster from this planet. Yeah, belt. Okay, let's place the beacons. There is the research. We are crafting. This is the silo. We are doing this, guys. Look, it is almost done. This is the rocket. It's going. It's flying. I'm done. But I'll do it again if this video gets 40,732 likes.